impulse to blame the woman is, quote, all too familiar with every marital indiscretion that finds its way into the public sphere, many of which involve male politicians, it always seems like the woman conveniently takes the fall. And this is what really kills me. 16 years later, and we're still talking about the two women at the center of this scandal and not the one man who actually broke the law. Van, tell me, man to man, how does Bill Clinton get away with this? Well, first of all, he got impeached. So I don't know if you can say he got away with it, but we got two oh, women. Oh, but he's loving women. life now. Come <laughs> on. We got two women here that can have their opinion about it. In the crosshair tonight, we're lucky to have Ruth Marcus from the Washington Post. We also have Penny Young Nance, president of the Concerned Women for America. I want to go to you. We've got some, some interesting language here I just want to get your, your response to. Um, uh, Monica opens up. You know, she's talking about a lot of stuff. She talks about uh, how Hillary Clinton called her a narcissistic looney tune. She took exception mm -hmm. to that. She also says this. These 16-year-old descriptions of me triggered memories of past anguish, particularly in the area of women lobbying derision at one another. I think that's about Hillary. So where, you might be wondering, were the feminists back then? Mm -hmm. Again, Hillary. It's a question that troubles me to, to this day. Now, I want to get your reaction to this. Mm -hmm. It sounds like, to me, she's saying that Hillary Clinton, who spent her whole life out there fighting for women, going all around the world, somehow doesn't have the right to be critical of a woman who slept with her husband. Do you think that Hillary Clinton has the right to be critical of Monica Lewinsky for sleeping oh, with her husband? I think this goes much deeper than the fact that she was the wronged wife. She was the enabler in chief, if you remember correctly. His indiscretions didn't start with Monica Lewinsky. They went back to Jennifer Flowers. And then any woman who dared bring up the fact that she had an affair with him, that he made a pass at her, that he sexually harassed her, the Clinton machine kicked in, of which Hillary Clinton was a part, which they destroyed, demeaned, now, and, and wow. you know, raked her over the car. <laughs> Enabler in chief, that's pretty yeah. strong. I don't think we can pretend to understand what goes on in anybody's marriage, particularly not the Clintons' marriage. It's a very complicated mm -hmm. enterprise, that marriage. But I think that clearly if you read the Diane Blair papers where um, Hillary Clinton used the words, according to Diane Blair, narcissistic looney tunes, I would like to say if my husband strayed, that would be the nicest possible thing I <laughs> would say about <laughs> and the other woman. Um, you, can, you can see her wrestling with um, her husband's indiscretions. It was obviously very, very and, painful and, and, to her. And so I think in no, I, 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 I got to take you on. Just trailer hold on trash. Hold on, hold on. I don't understand. You, you, you are a family values, That's traditional right. conservative, loud and proud, well known mm -hmm. in the country for that. <laughs> are you saying that Hillary, are you now the pro divorce no. well, look, uh, uh, caucus look, now? I, Hillary, I am she's not the only person in the world. I'm commenting on whether or not she should have stayed married. Shouldn't you be proud of Hillary Clinton for sticking with her marriage? No, hang on. What I'm commenting on is whether or not she actually took on the issue of these women being demeaned and destroyed. She was not the only one. There were victims all around the Clintons. The minute one woman, and by the way, remember all the articles that came out from the Arkansas police, state police, how that they, he would use them to procure women. This had been going on for ages. So the minute he sent her out front to say it was the, it was the right wing conspiracy, That's she was lying. Oh, well, come Ruth, on. I, think, I just think that goes way too far to say that she was lying. It may be, you might say she was in denial. You might say she was way too defensive. I, mean, I think it is ignorant. fair. Uh, you might say that also, 